whatever God has reserved for you in life and destiny, you will enter there. Everything that been chasing you to push you out of your divine destiny today will chase them away. My God will give you an answer of good. This new month shall be the best you have ever seen thus far. In this month, God will cause you to ascend your high places. The mountain top of your destiny shall be seen. I decree you will not see shame. Please put your big, 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 big hands together for Jesus, for the King of Kings, for the Lord of Lords, in Jesus' mighty name. Once again, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. The God of heaven, the God of this commission will reach out to you today. The prophetic theme for the month is empowered by the spirit. I'm empowered by the spirit to fulfill destiny. And today, we are going to start a serious teaching that will run in all our Sunday services. The theme is empowered by the spirit to fulfill my glorious destiny empowered by the spirit to fulfill my glorious destiny so we'll be looking at part 1a in the service and we'll build up from there remember today is our prophetic entrance service so there's a word coming for you as we gloriously enter this month of october also is our covenant day of marital breakthroughs you will not break down Please come with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, 4 to 7. We'll also read 11 and 31. 1 Corinthians 12, 4 to 7, 11 and 31. I read. Now, there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation, verse 7, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with her. Now, the Spirit of God operates in diverse ways. And there are diversities of gifts. And I pray that the nine gifts of the Holy Ghost be manifested in our lives. In Jesus mighty name. The same spirit, but it manifests in different ways. Also, there are differences in administrations, but in the same law. There are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. And look at this verse 7 the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with her if you more profit in life if you more profit in destiny then you need the manifestation of the spirit in your life without the manifestation of the holy ghost our destiny cannot be fulfilled in grand star we can profit that's why the Bible asks that we must convert for these gates. Convert for them. This month, by the grace of God, in the di we're going to be looking at the diverse operation of the Holy Ghost towards the realization of our glorious destiny. That's why the teaching series for the month is captured in power by the Spirit to fulfill our glorious destiny. Empowered by the Spirit to fulfill our glorious destiny you agree with me that no believer can fulfill his his or her destiny without the input of the holy ghost in the old testament joseph was a slave joseph an ex-convict became the prime minister because he was empowered by the spirit they have to change the constitution of egypt to accommodate him to rule them why pharaoh says something in as much as you are 
you are wise and discreet as in as much that there's no one as wise and discreet as thou in whom the spirit of the god is the holy ghost is repairing to as the spirit of the god because what the holy ghost that reveals all things that revealed to joseph the solution at that time it was a national solution and because there was no one as wise as discreet as thou as him as revealed by the holy ghost he became in charge of the business someone here by the empowerment of the holy ghost you shall be enthroned you shall be enthroned please understand and take notes that the holy ghost is the custodian of god's plan and purposes for the believer he's the custodian the holy ghost is the chief executive of god on the earth today look at Joel chapter 2 28 to 29 and it shall come to pass afterward that will i pour out my spirit upon all flesh and upon your sons and your daughters and you and your daughter shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions this will happen when the spirit is poured out and also upon the upon the upon the servants and upon the handmaid in those days will i pour out my spirit when the spirit of god is at poured things happen may the spirit of the lord be abhorred afresh upon us in the name of jesus your head will not reject the outpouring of the spirit in the name of jesus christ the holy spirit of god is the showing spirit he shows us things to come he reveals things to us the spirit of god is the custodian of god's plans and purpose for your life remember he searched all things including god's plan and purpose for your life yea the deep things of god the secret things of god the holy ghost can search them out and reveal them to you no wonder habakkuk was speaking in habakkuk chapter 2 1 to 3 he said i will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and i will want to see what he will say unto me and what i shall answer when i am reproved and the lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tablet that he may run that read it for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie don't it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry that plan and purpose for god of god for your life i see the holy ghost revealing it to you including his plan and purpose for your marriage i see god revealing it to you those things, those secret questions you've been asking, they ask questions of your heart. I see the Holy Ghost answering them this morning in the name of Jesus. Please understand also that the Holy Ghost empowers us to fulfill God's plan. He empowers us. Not only is he the custodian of the plan, you need him to fulfill it. The Holy Ghost knows your end from the beginning. So if you follow him, you cannot miss the plan of God for your life. You will fulfill God's plan for your life. Remember, the Bible said in Zechariah 24 verse 6, It is not by power, it is not by mind, but it is by my spirit, saith the Lord. So you don't accomplish God's plan and purpose for your life by power. You don't accomplish it by might. You accomplish it by the empowerment and help of the Holy Ghost. Somebody is going to be empowered today talking about Gideon the Bible said go in this your mind go in this your mind the when the Holy Ghost empowers you you will operate like a mighty man when the Holy Ghost empowers you you will not make mistake that's why Jesus was going from here he told the Apostles don't make mistake to jump out you know without the empowerment of the Holy Ghost Peter could not convince a little girl that he's with Jesus he was so afraid he said well light a light i'm not with this man i don't know him he denied jesus because he didn't have empowerment when he received the empowerment of the holy ghost peter spoke to a crowd and three thousand got born again you can't fulfill your glorious destiny without the empowerment of the holy ghost that's why jesus warned them in luke chapter 24 verse 49 he said tarry ye in jerusalem until you are endued with power if you are not endured with power you will endure life many are enduring life because they are not endured with power if you are not endured you will endure tarry you in jerusalem until you are endured with power 
and when they stayed there and the Holy Ghost came, they became a wonder to their world. And by the empowerment of the Holy Ghost this month, you become a wonder to your world in the name of Jesus. I see somebody here walking in his high place in the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost also empowers our faith for exploits. Thank God for your faith. But you need an empowered faith. Say with me, empowered faith. <laughs> what some people claim to be faith is not faith because it's not producing results. You need an empowered faith. And it's the Holy Ghost that empowers our faith. There's what is called the spirit of faith. Faith is in levels. There is word of faith. Word of faith can fail. Ask Peter. There is what is called the gift of faith. The gift of faith is limited because the Holy Ghost will operate that gift in you as he wills, not as you will. But there is what is called the spirit of faith. When the spirit of faith comes upon you, you are empowered to do us exploit. You do the undoable. You, 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 you strive. You, 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 will, you will do the things that are impossible. That's why, by that spirit, God servant, my master, could come out and say, within one year, he said, this tabernacle, 50,000 seed tabernacle, that is claimed to be the largest in the world, he said, this will be dedicated in one year. No design, no plan. However, it is not just faith speaking, it's spirit of faith. Say, spirit of faith. Uh -huh. When you get the spirit of faith, you speak to unspeakable. When you get the spirit of faith, you dead unbearable. When you take the spirit of faith, you know some people now they've seen who to marry, they're not taking step because there is no faith. You will see the sister, you forget what the manifesto he prepared. Say, my sister, there's something we'll discuss. Next Sunday we'll talk it. Next Sunday, the sister said, Brother Tinko, he said, I beg next time. Until we see the sister's card. <laughs> You need this faith. Say with me, I need it. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. The Bible says, We have been the same spirit of faith according as it's written. I believe, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. When you have this spirit of faith, you will speak the unspeakable. Now, I want you to I'll give you an illustration, though this may be negative, but it will help you understand what I'm talking about. Do you advise a man that is drunk how to talk? Do you advise him? You know, sometimes those people that used to drink, there's a time they drink and drink and the thing engages to a certain level. They enter spirit of prophecy. You say, hey, you. Next year, I will give you two story beauty. Say, man. It's not the man talking, it's the spirit of alcohol in him that is talking. Don't you know? You don't know that spirits have manifestation. Spirits have, manif spirits have manifestation. Anybody that you cannot drink, for instance, and not be loud. Spirit of alcohol is loud. You must speak something. If it's spirit of Igbo, very quiet but dangerous. If you're looking at you like this, but <laughs> the man has gone. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm talking about? Now, it may be negative, but just get an understanding. Now, when the spirit of faith is in you, nobody advises you what to say. Nobody will advise you what to say. You know, sometimes when we say something, some people say, ah, they are proud. They don't know. They say, I cannot be poor. I cannot be saved. How can it be? Because the person is not filled with the spirit. You don't, when somebody is drunk, a trailer is coming to him. You say, if you touch me, I will scatter you. Are you getting what I'm talking about? <laughs> because it's not the person talking. It's the spirit inside him that is talking. So hear this. When you have this spirit of faith, you will do the undoable. You will dare the undoable. There are certain steps you are not taking now because this spirit is not there. <laughs> you know the impossible answers to faith. By this spirit of faith, the Bible said, they quenched the violence of fire. They took their children back to life. They wrought righteousness. They obtained promises. They stopped them out of lions. Hebrews 11, 32 to 34. By the spirit of faith. Now hear me. By the injection of this spirit of faith today, I decree every plan and purpose of God for your life will no longer be frustrated. One major way we need the empowerment of the Holy Ghost to 
is in the fulfillment of our marital destiny. Marital breakthrough can easily be achieved when the Holy Spirit is allowed to walk. Remember, marriage is a great institution and he's treated by God himself. As a matter of fact, God was in the first wedding service. He was the one that conducted it. Marriage is to be enjoyed and not to be endured. But what do we have today? Many are enduring their marriages. As a matter of fact, many think that marriage is a necessary evil. It's not a necessary evil. It's a good thing and it's meant to be enjoyed. You enjoy your marriage in Jesus' name. Who is this service for? Number one. Those who are married and are enjoying peace. In case you are married here, you are enjoying peace. This service is for you. You know what will happen? God will multiply peace and grace upon your family. The devil gets angry when he sees families that are in peace and in harmony. He tries to send the spirit of strife and division. But hear me. My God will shield your family from every form of strife and division. If you are enjoying peace right now, I command the devil to be shot permanently from your home. Begin to enjoy, multiply peace in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, we decree your home a keep off zone for every destroyer, including the devil. In Jesus' mighty name. Who is this service for number two? Those that are smiling in their marriage. Anyone smiling in their marriage right now, your, your smile will turn to laughter. Those that are laughing already, you will enjoy greater laughter. Who is this marriage for? Who is this service for? Those under the siege of the devil. There are marriages that are under the siege of the devil. But today, the captain shall be set free. Why? My God will contend with them, contending with your marriage. You'll be set free. That strange man, that strange woman harassing your home, they will let you go. Those harassment of in-laws, relations, third parties will come to an end in the name of Jesus. Some people are in marriage, they are like, what is this all about? Is this marriage? But my God will turn your marriage vow to wow. Who is this service for? Those that are not married. But constantly face disappointments, delays, deniers. That yoke will be broken today. No one wants to say yes to you. All the people you propose to, they reject you. That is coming to an end today. My Bible says, surely there is an end and the expectation shall not be cut off. Who is this meeting for? Those who are already in courtship but experience constant quarrels, lack of finances to carry on the project. They maybe entered courtship but lost his or her job those suffering from spiritual husbands spiritual wives that chase away and make their would be spouse to run up run from them those suffering from household enemies from witchcraft attacks strong men and strong women of their fathers or their mother's house today judgment is coming upon such evil patterns that be raging in your family nobody gets married nobody stays with their husband nobody stays with their wife nobody gets a child i decree today they shall be terminated every occultic manipulation against your marriage evil spares that be following you not allowing you to be, to, to be located or to locate i decree today it shall be ended that thing that when you get money to marry Something will come and put problem will come and the money will disappear. You start from square one. You go to do introduction, then accident and accident and accident before you know it. You can't take it, you can't go any further. I decree that that evil pattern ends today. One day a lady came to me and narrated some things and in her family, how to for 27 years nobody has ever married for 27 years. Did you hear the testimony of her today? 50 years. 
getting married at her 50th birthday after her 50th birthday now this lady for 27 years nobody married in their family but after prayer was made and this hand laid on her she married december 2014 has a baby boy today now hear me every siege of marital frustration in every family in every life in the life of your children in the life of your cousins and nephews and nieces i decree today it shall be terminated whatever is frustrating marriages in our families i send the holy ghost fire against them quickly now how does the holy ghost empower us for marital breakthrough thereby fulfilling our marital destiny how because it's a comprehensive service we we'll talk about the married and unmarried number one is in the area of restoration the holy ghost brings restoration joy chapter 2 21 to 27 he said fear not O land be glad and rejoice for the lord will do great things what will god do in your life what will god do in your marriage what will god do in your family from now great things will begin to happen in your life and family he said be not afraid ye beasts of the field for the pastures of the wilderness do spring for the tree bearers are fruit the fig tree and the vine tree do ye their strength be glad then ye children of zion and rejoice in the lord your god for he has given you the former rain moderately and it will cause to come down for you the rain the former rain and the latter rain in the first month the holy ghost is that rain and god is going to give you the rain of the holy ghost in jesus name and because of that he said the floor shall be full of weeds and the vase shall overflow with wine and oil everyone preparing for wedding you will not lack resources to make it happen <laughs> God gave me a secret long time ago. It worked for me and it worked for many. I call it the ABC of wedding. Matthew 22, 2 to 4, and then down to verse 10. He said, it, The kingdom of heaven is like a certain king that made a marriage for his son. It was a certain king that made it for his son. And then God told me, If the certain king can make it for his son, how much more will he make it for his son and his daughter? Because if you've been evil, know how to ask good things. <laughs> If you've been evil, know how to give good things to your children. How much more will your heavenly father, who is the king of kings, do good things to them that ask? And marriage is good. He that finds the wife, finds the good thing, and obtain favor from the Lord. I said, okay, Lord, if it's so, then you can do this marriage for me. And he did it. Glory to God. And he did it. If you look there, it was the king that provided all the things slaughtered. The fatlings and the things that were slaughtered. It was the king that prepared the dinner. It was the king that brought wedding garment. It was the king that did everything that brought people to the wedding. Now listen to me. You have tried to do wedding by yourself. Allow the king or king to do it for you. Allow him to do it for you. So he will send the rain. And the flowers shall, the flowers shall be full of wheat. And the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. Abundance. And I will restore to you the years the locusts had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that are there wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. God is not a stammerer. Hear me. Every shame that is looming at your marriage right now i command it to be stopped whatever shame people are mocking you because of your children you say you have trained them well, let's see let them come and marry every shame that is threatening your children i command that shame to be destroyed no more shame in your marriage no more shame in your life that strange man, that strange woman tormenting your home receive the Holy Ghost fire. That small gear disturbing your husband, I command fire upon them in the name of Jesus. That man troubling your wife, I command fire upon them in the name of Jesus. Hear me? There shall be restoration of marriages every broken marriage here i decree restoration in the name of jesus i was in port the year 2002 and a man 
through their daughter who was in the church God reconciled to the wife after 24 years there is nothing too hard for God to do that broken marriage can be restored that broken relationship can be restored that lost opportunity can be restored in the name of Jesus Christ one of the Shilohs a lady from Ghana shared a testimony of how she came to Shiloh and prayed and then God opened doors of restoration because in her family people were not getting married and married correctly but that year 11 marriages were celebrated in the same family now hear me from today marriages will begin to take place in your family if there be any broken relationship that you desire to be restored I command it restored because when the pouring of the Holy Ghost comes restoration takes its natural course therefore I command restoration in homes in Jesus mighty name how again does the Holy Ghost empower us to fulfill our marital destiny number two is empowered revelational knowledge save me empowered revelational knowledge what does this do this empowered revelational knowledge multiplies peace and grace and what every family needs is peace you need grace the bible said grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of god and jesus christ our lord now according to his divine power he has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that called us to glory and virtue second peter one two to three so peace grace is multipliable by knowledge and the holy ghost is the one that gives us revelations revelational knowledge of issues in our lives in our families in the life of our children the holy ghost can show you things to come the bible calls him the spirit of revelation no wonder paul prayed for the Ephesian church in ephesians 1 17 and 18 that the god of our lord jesus christ may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know the hope of his calling and what is the sitting greatness of him, and what is the glory of the riches he has in the saints and what is in verse 19 and what is the sitting greatness of his power to us who all that believe you need your eyes of understanding to be open many quarrels in homes today because of lack of understanding and when there's lack of understanding there's misrepresentation misinterpretation misunderstanding any family that the man will pay attention to understand the wife and the wife understand the husband i'm telling you the truth they can live in peace anywhere you see peace is because there is understanding it takes two people to fight if one say i will not fight there'll be no fight understanding and the holy ghost is the one that gives us understanding that multiplies knowledge to us that brings peace peace can be achieved grace can be achieved but it comes through knowledge now look at this first peter 3 7 likewise ye husband dwell with them according to knowledge giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel as being hers together of the grace of light that your prayers be not hindered many men their prayers are hindered because they lack knowledge of their wives and the knowledge here is genesis daily knowledge daily knowledge don't say i knew her yesterday daily knowledge every day you must know her every day every day you must learn about each other so that you can do well you know peter has experience i believe peter prayer was hindered one day he went back to god god said go and settle with your wife amen if your prayer is hindered then your helpline is hindered hear me in every family there are three weak vessels but the only weak in ranges number one the man himself is weak the woman is weaker the children are weakest that's why the bible told you he said the man treat your wife as a weaker vessel we are all vessels the man is a vessel the wife is a vessel the children are vessels so he said treat her as a weaker vessel which means the man is a weak the woman is a weaker the children is the weakest They say that you know i am the head of the home 
you are, you are weak in certain areas. There are certain things the woman knows. For instance, the woman has power of intuition. Sometimes she will tell you this thing. I know that this way. He said, no, it's a woman talk. And even when you make the mistake, you can't go back to apologize to her. And tell her. I'm afraid of any man that says, I don't listen to my wife. I'm afraid. Because God gave her to you to help you. But because of ego, how can I listen to a woman talk? Treat her as a weaker vessel. Hey, don't go and say, I'll buy the tape and go and get my husband. You collect trouble, lack of understanding. Uh -huh. Say, listen to this tape. See what Pastor said now. See it. That's not what you're talking about. You too, you have your own. Glory to God. Uh -huh. You have your own. So you too, understand your husband. Is somebody following me now? understand it's not every time you bring an issue your husband is just coming out worn out tired you know say where is that money bring up now if you not bring up trouble day this house i know we'll give you food yeah lack of understanding a wise woman builded her house but a foolish one blocked it down with her own hands it's foolishness that destroys home not the devil the devil traveled to afghanistan that day he says the devil it's not the devil it's foolishness proverbs 14 verse 1 a wise woman built her house. A wise man built his house. But the foolish one blocked it down. So you need knowledge. You need to understand them. And what the Holy Ghost does is to help us get knowledge. Get understanding. The Holy Ghost searches all things. Hear the deep things of God. So he can help you get understanding of certain things you don't know. If a woman can say that, what is it that I do that my husband used to beat me? Ask the Holy Ghost. If he shows you, you can avoid the beating. Why is it that my wife is not respecting me? Ah, as the Holy Ghost, He can show you. Maybe you are not providing, you are not taking care of, you are not, you are not giving her attention. Anytime you say, I want to discuss with you, you say, Wait first. You are watching Chase here, mind you. Is she not pour your hot water? Why you are watching that? He said, I want to talk. There's something urgent. He said, Wait first. Every time, wait first. Wait first. You are far to see. Please give your wife attention in Jesus' name. Now, let me talk to some unmarried people here before we close. Now, look at this. How does the Holy Ghost empower us to fulfill our destiny, marital destiny in God? Every the Holy Ghost empowers us for preparation. Say with me, preparation. For you to have a successful marriage, you must be prepared. Many people want to marry, but they are not prepared. Second Chronicles chapter 27, verse 6, and Jotham became mighty because he prepared himself before the Lord. Some ladies want to marry. I want to marry governor. I want to marry president. I want to marry pastor. But they are not prepared. I want to marry Mr. Wright. Are you Mrs. Miss Wright? Prepare yourself. Help me tell you never prepare yourself. Oh, young man, you want to marry? Prepare yourself. You don't have work to do. You can't feed yourself. You can't accommodate yourself. You are going to talk to a lady. I want to marry you. And you're wondering why she's not agreeing. Nobody, no lady wants to suffer. Before God gave Adam wife, God gave Adam work. Genesis 2.15. He said, you take this garden, dress it and keep it. That is work. In verse 18, he said, it's not good for this Adam to be alone. Let me give him a help meet. Before work, before wife is work. To go and prepare yourself. Some lady want to marry. I just want to marry. All their vision in life is to marry. Nobody wants to marry a liability. That's why with your master's degree, they will see leave you and go and marry somebody with a SSE. But has handwork. Get understanding. He said, but I'm beautiful now. Just like the testimony we had now. It's not your beauty. It is favor that makes for marriage. But there are things that can help you position yourself. You want to marry as a young lady. You don't know how to cook. 
all the things you know how to cook is indomie. Pick it up. There's even an error we see in church today. Somebody has wasted his life in town. Play with all the guests. And another lady has wasted her life in town. And now they all come back to church. He said, I just want to marry a God-fearing man. <laughs> and she will go and post at the back of the church. Another, the other one will come too. I just want to marry a God-fearing lady. I just really need somebody that fear God. They will meet their jump themselves. You get back home and say the man is smoking. And this one is a jaguda. You deceive me. You deceive me. That's what you wanted. God will never allow any of his children serving him well to meet such wrong people. In Jesus' mighty name. Please prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Another area the Holy Ghost helps us is that he empowers us to make choices, the right choices. The Holy Ghost empowers us to make the right choice. Remember, every man is a creature of choice. There are three important choices in your life. God made two thirds of it for you. He allowed you to take one third. The first choice is the day you are born. You never, God never gave you privilege to choose. He chose for you. The day you marry, or the who to marry, God gave you privilege to choose. But the day you will die, he never gave you privilege to choose. And these are three very important choices in your life. Genesis chapter 6 verse 2. They saw some men saw the daughters of men that they are very fair and they chose themselves wives of them. So God gave you the power to choose. I wrote that in that um, that one type of person you should never marry. God gave you the power to choose. You have the power of choice. You see, your choice of a married partner can make you or marry you. Many people have been rendered on the united by who they married. Many have been rendered coupleless by who they married. Many have been prosperous by who they married. Many have died untimely death by who they married. So it's not a choice to be done anyhow. Somebody say how? Proverbs 18 verse 22. The Bible says, He that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor from the Lord. So there is a finding. There is what? A finding. That's why uh, if somebody breaks a courtship, it's not a it's not broken marriage. If it's it not working, you better turn. There's a finding. Which means there's a searching. If there's a finding, there's a seeking, and there's a searching. They that seek the Lord will not want any good thing. So God will not allow you to want the good ones. Matthew 7, 7 to 8. Ask you shall receive, seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. Everyone that seeketh, findeth. Everyone that knocketh, it shall be opened to him. Everyone that asketh, receiveth. Everyone that asketh, receiveth. But before asking, you you know, one of the things you, you need to do is to, to seek the face of the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost guide you in your searching and your seeking. Don't try to do it alone. Oh man, oh woman, don't accept just like that. Let the Holy Ghost guide you. The Holy Ghost is the best guide in life. He said he will guide you into all truth. John 16, 13, the Holy Ghost will guide you into all truth, including the truth of who to marry. The Holy Ghost can help you not to marry a witch or a wizard. Some people today, the greatest regret they have is who they married. Don't, and that's why you don't allow anybody to make this choice for you. Don't allow anybody to prophesy the choice to you. He says, it's my spiritual father. He prophesied that man to me. Okay. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Even God, when God gave to Adam, Adam turned back and said, God, you are the cause of my problem. The woman you gave to me, that's the problem. So you are part of the problem. If you didn't give me this woman, I won't fall. Since that time, God removed his hand. That's why in Genesis 6 2, they saw and they chose. There is the perfect will of God. There is the permissible will of God. Please, the Holy Ghost, without the Holy Ghost, you can't come into marriage with your perfect will of God for you. 
you need him you need him you need him you need him and one of the ways you know when the holy ghost is guiding you to the right choice is peace of mind save me peace of mind psalm 85 verse 8 i will hear what god will say to his people he will say peace to them but let them not return to their folly anybody you want to marry and you are discovering you don't have peace please cut it god is not there god is not there one lady asked me in a seminar he said hey how about any somebody i just i really like him but anytime we meet we always end up in quarrel is he the will of god i said how can you something you are seeing koro koro you are asking you are not married they are quarreling every day when you marry you chase the neighbors please let the peace of mind be the umpire because the holy ghost will guide you into peace not just the beauty not just the figure the figure can change tomorrow not just the fine boy no pimple <laughs> That fine boy can be mommy's boy. You need to get that book. That one type of person you should never marry. That's what I call mommy's boy, daddy's boy. Any he will take instruction from the mother before he give you food. <laughs> don't don't marry because of wealth or because of educational qualification. Let the peaks of God. If you do this, you will find peace. You know, sometimes you ask people, why are you marrying the person? He said, I just like the figure. Figure can change tomorrow. After five children, the figure will change. <laughs> Let something stronger convict you to marry the person. There are some people, their eyes must be open today. Just like God opened the eyes of Hagar. The water was beside Hagar, but she couldn't see it until God opens her eye. Anyone whose eyes need to be open to see his or her own God or death power, I command the eyes to be open now. Some of you, your wives are around you, you can't see them. Your husband is around, you can't, you can't notice it. Even the brother is coming to talk to you. You say, hey Joe, is it because we're in the same church? Sleep has no good size. Be careful. Another way you need the Holy Ghost in this issue of making choice is boldness to deliver your manifesto, especially men. There are some young men, they've seen the person. Holy Ghost have told them, this is Sister Joy. That's your whole wife. He knows. He knows the scripture. But to go and open mouth is a problem. Every time you just be walking around and escorting Sister Joy. Sister Joy, can I take you to crutches? Please, can I escort you to the market? Is your name escort? Open your mouth. Now hear me. That you are buying shawarma for her. Buying ice cream for her. Maybe even training her in school. School fees is not bright price. <laughs> One lady told me that by handed the case. You know what happened? The young man trained her in school. After training her in school, when she graduated, she said there's something we will discuss. The brother came and said, hey, the thing is that uh, I just discussed with my people. They say my people know they marry your people. <laughs> After graduation, <laughs> the young man came to me. He said, Pastor, I want to kill her. I said, You can't kill her. He said, Why? He said, I said her bright price school fees is not equal to bright price. You can't even ask for the fund because it's something you used to do friendship. Even bright price, you can ask for the fund. School fees you paid, you can't ask for the fund. That's the mumu. Mumu. He has not gone to school, he has trained somebody in school. So if you have seen that lady, go and talk to her. Go and tell her, Sister Joy, I want to marry you. Sister Mercy, can you marry me? What is there now? You don't be moving around and moving around until you see her wedding card. You now ask her, how about the ice cream I've been bringing? Did it you decode it? Ice cream is not manifesto. Declare your manifesto, my brother. You need boldness. That's why you need the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. Jude verse 20. He said, building up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. If you don't know how to say it, don't pray in tongues and charge yourself. Your eye go red. You go tell him, say, Sister Joy, marry me. Please, 
please don't be intimidated with her beauty don't be intimidated with her educational qualification if you have seen and you know this is the person god is giving you peace go and deliver your manifesto hear me if the holy ghost is guiding you you have peace faith will be there joy will be there boldness will be there and he said how about this she said you know if she even says no there are seven people who are ready to say yes try again when one door opens seven others are when one door closed seven others are opening and then for our ladies please help all these young men don't even if you even if you want to say no please know how to say it so that their morale will not die now help her he said he said what do you have somebody like you shouldn't be talking to me is it because we're in the same church what do you have do you have car do you have house eh? only thing you have come on nyc distress certificate that person the story can change tomorrow <laughs> amen glory to god and another thing please let this be approachable be what some are thinking that is the witch or the wizard in their village that is the problem it's not the witch you are not approachable every time your face is looking like zuma rock no smile on your face you can't even smile even when they greet you good morning even if the man wants to marry he will say this one no be the one no be him. holy ghost this is not the best i don't think it's the best smile will not cost you anything put a smile on at least even if you don't know put the plastic one know how to package yourself know how to dress some people dress like grandmother you want to marry you're dressing like grandmother anybody that sees you will think you are married i don't want to propose to a married person one lady came to me like that even the way he was wearing black and black and with her, like grandmother like somebody who lost somebody and he said pastor pray hot prayer i said quit hot prayer he said i want to marry nobody is talking to me i said you are the problem go and remove this thing you are wearing even me i was calling her madam 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 uh -huh. please it's not a laughing matter carry neat hair neat some people they hear that this is not in elijah they're carrying it like that and you can't just cut it carry it that's why you need to get the book you get you need to get that book i wrote some of these things in the book making yourself marketable you need to know how to market yourself you know abigail was a very good marketer he saw david and he wanted to marry david he marketed david correctly and when the husband David said, Come, I can see some qualities in you. Please. May God give you understanding in Jesus' name. Package yourself so that you can be located and package yourself so that you can locate. Oh brother, everywhere you are eating in the street, you are carrying your shoe. No, no polish. The shoe is looking like pink color. I want to go and talk to a, 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 a banker. <laughs> He's in a banker I want. The one that has car. Just rise on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> now listen to me. Acts 20 32 says, The brethren are commended to God and to the word of His grace, which is able to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. One of the inheritance we have in God for being saints in light is the Holy Ghost. The first deposit of the Holy Ghost comes at salvation. So somebody is here today. You want to give your life to Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Make up your mind now and surrender to him. Without Jesus, you can't have peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace and the Holy Spirit it is same with jesus there are three that bear record in heaven and on earth and they're all the same now hear me somebody is here you you gave your life to jesus someday but between you and god you have taken it back you know that he's not there that's why you don't have peace you don't have joy you can return to him today let him return to him to you rededicate your life somebody is also here you are suffering from certain evil habits you tried all you knew how to do including new year resolutions but nothing has resolved you can return to jesus and turn to him today and he will empower you by his spirit to overcome 
such things. Put your hand on your chest if you're among this category of people I've mentioned and pray this prayer right now. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. From my heart and with my mouth, I confess you, Jesus, as my Lord and my Savior. Jesus, write my name now in the book of life. Forgive me of my past. Give me a new beginning. I will surrender to you. Give me a new beginning. Today, I am born again. I'm a child of God. I give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. This fourth quarter is the last quarter of the year and it's going to be your winning quarter. This year we end so well for you. We are going to be praying this way. We are going to say, Father, as you empower me by the Holy Ghost to fulfill my destiny in every area, marriage inclusive, grant me my desires thereby making the last quarter 2017 my winning quarter so 145 by 16 he said he opened up his hand to satisfy the desire of every living thing father as you empower me by the holy ghost to fulfill my destiny in every area marriage inclusive grant me my desire thereby making the last quarter 2017 my winning quarter lift your voice and pray like thunder right now la rusia kekuna balata zuzie kletesho natara father as you empower me by the holy ghost to fulfill my destiny in any area in marriage inclusive grant my my desires thereby making this last quarter of 2017 that started today my winning quarter Open your hand, satisfy my desires. Abranize ke kono brontoso no kopa la branine ke seke. Abrandazize kle le de zuza bara bala bara bala. Epete bene 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 bene. La kuzeria blelege te bego sono. Abrandazize kle ke tete me ke te breke teto. Aratazie kle lezi. Ina brandoso zinama brania gatuso vada mercy upon me help for me establish my marital destiny establish my family let there be miracle marriages in my family lord my children will not fight the battle i fought let this year end well for me let this year end well for my family jesus arise from me Thank you, Jehovah. In Jesus' glorious name. Please lift up your two hands and lift up that list before him. Father, you that created the eyes, you can see. Let everything that been written here be confirmed as a testimony. Whatever your people are saying no to, Lord, say no to it. Whatever they are saying yes to, let there be yes in Jesus' name. Now hear me. Before the end of the year, you will discover that God has done beyond what you have expected. Whatever you are written on the expectation I decree starting from today, the testimony begin to come. Your blessings begin to come. Some people are going to hear their miracle proposals. Somebody will propose marriage to you. Somebody will say yes to you. Your children will bring their respective spouses in the name of Jesus. Marriages will be no take place in your family. Peace will reign in your family. Every war in every family, I command you to cease. Every storm in your life, in your finances, I command you to cease. Every form of marital spare, enchantment, divination, wrong marriages, spiritual marriages, marriage to marry spirit, I command you to be terminated. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, whatever you want to be cut off from your family, I declare is cut off right now. This last quarter of the year shall be your winning quarter. 